What's up, I'm Hypsy. I play games, make games everywhere, and today we're going to be going over the first game I'm working on for the football game jam that is happening now within Hype Hype with a $1,500 prize pool. How to join, add the hashtag football jam to your game. There's even a raffle going on where five people posting in this jam will randomly win $100, and the top five games will also win $200. The first game I'm working on is called Shootout super simple game mechanic i got this game idea from watching somebody play match block 3d while on the airplane i created this mechanic a couple months ago just playing around seeing what would be fun i never built this out more than what i have here because this was just kind of a fun little project i wanted to see if i could do that only took me like 30 minutes to make so when this football game jam came out i thought it'd be a great idea to just take those mechanics and use a soccer ball or a football depending on where you live and what you call it here we got a little kind of a menu that shows you you get one points for the soccer ball plus one second if you make the yellow one in and plus three points if you make the blue one in and then yeah you can just aim the ball and shoot it wherever and then if you get it in you get a point oh man he's blocking my shots and if you get the yellow ones in okay I'm not <laughs> I should be better at this game. And I was playing around with the sizes of the ball for making them big and making them small to see what had the best kind of feel for gameplay. I also messed around with the timer. I decided that 15 seconds for me was really kind of the best. And the game is pretty simple. And for fun, if you wanted to, you could actually accidentally hit people in the audience. I don't know why you would do that, but you can totally do that. <laughs> it's just kind of a fun little element to the game. And then there's a scorekeeper. And I also even added a boombox off to the side and if you hit the boombox with the ball it'll change the music in the game. The game was a lot of fun to make. Let's hit the edit button to see how some of it works. First thing here is we got this board that shows you what does what, shows you what the best score is and then here we have a screen touch node that once you touch the screen this will all move up and get destroyed. We can see that happen right here. You just hit play it moves up and then gets destroyed. Next we have here this white box. This is where all the objects are spawning to. We got the one point ball, the time ball, and the three point ball. And you can see that all of them are going to the white marquee box because that's where they spawn. They're all in their own reusable container. And up here we have a trigger release. So when this is called, 0.25 seconds happens, and then this switch node. The switch node is one of the top three nodes I use for a lot of things because it allows for easy randomization. Here we can see there's a 33% chance for each ball to show up. And if I wanted to change this, I can easily just change these numbers a little bit and make this 0.5. And you can see that the randomness now goes down to 50% for the regular ball and 25% for each other ball. And this is a great great way to have big effects in the game and changing the gameplay. Another big one would be changing the size of the ball. So right now we can see that the size is set to 111. If we were to do 1.5 for all three, that would make the ball bigger and kind of more difficult to get into the goal. Notice whenever the balls hit the goalie or the goal and they bounce off, they then shrink and get smaller. As we can see, this is a completely different kind of game. Likewise, if we want to make the style of the game different we can change the sizes of all these to be even smaller so let's go ahead and make them 0.75 i did play around with a bunch of these and tried to figure out what i think is best and then uh just set it as is so now these balls are much smaller and they can go in a lot easier that one looked like it went through the player so we'll have to test that to make sure okay it looks like the player is blocking and then here i actually find that if you just touch the ball it makes it easier you spawn more balls and you have a higher chance of getting a score in. Again, different kind of gameplay based on the size of the ball. One little thing can completely change the way the game feels. Here we have the goalie. This goalie has multiple different colors that can be called upon using the switch node or hairstyles, different shoe color, gloves, jersey, and that's just to add randomness to the game. Here we can see different kinds of goalie each time we start. And there's about five different variants. 
And lastly, we have the people in the crowd. Very similar setup. The color, hairstyle changes, clothing changes, skin tone changes, and they are also in a reusable container. And I've made them a dynamic object. So if you wanted to accidentally quote unquote hit them, <laughs> you can. That is not the goal of the game. But when making a game, I like to add little fun things that you can discover in the game. So I'll be working on this game all week and trying to make it better fine-tuning a bunch of different things and yeah if you got any suggestions let me know the football game jam is due monday 2 p.m eee time i'm gonna be sure to submit this game by sunday night just to be safe this is shootout and if you want to check out the game links down below let me know your thoughts and until next time i'm hypesy stay safe out there and peace